Good morning world. Happy Tuesday. Or you're watching this Wednesday. Happy hump day. Anyway, halfway through my workout. Well, not halfway, but the half a mile run is done. And first time, I'm under 11 minutes per mile pace. Uh, yesterday was a record day. I just broke that by like 20 seconds today. Just gotta keep pushing. Let's go ride that bike. There it is. Good morning. All right guys, DA44 is in the books. Exercise is done. Time to get to work. Not gonna dilly dally around out here this morning. Uh, it's cooling off in Florida again. You can probably see my breath a little bit. Anyway, uh, welcome to Florida in the winter time. I'm not gonna complain, it'll be 70 today. Anyway guys, time for some coffee. See you in a bit. All right guys, so one thing that we've learned um, in our travels is good rain gear is a must. Now you don't use it every day, but when you do use it, um, you want it to work because the last thing you want is just to be soaked and wet and cold and miserable and yeah, you know, all the fun stuff you get when you're caught in a rain shower. And uh, last year we were going from Fordland, Missouri to Jefferson City, Missouri, and it poured on us um, for like three and a half, four hours. And um, my rain gear bottoms, which are Harley Davidson, worked awesome. Um, my top, yeah, not so much. So my top is actually a first gear. There it is there. Um, pretty nice unit, but it just does not work in heavy rain. So I decided, all right, I'm going to change that out. I'm gonna get me a new set this year, see if they work any better. So I'm a huge fan of Nelson Rig. We use um, their bags for the back of our bikes. Um, their bag covers are completely waterproof. The bags are awesome. And uh, I'm just a huge fan. So I decided that I would order um, the Nelson Rig. You can see it here. SR6000 rain suit. So I ordered it, I got it in. Everything looks cool and nice. Except this side right here doesn't have the Velcro piece that actually cinches up the sleeve. Like this side, this side here has. So this piece is completely missing off of that arm. So anyway, not a big deal. They said just to send it back. They've given me my money back. So I'm just gonna send it back and uh, get me another set. But you know, just the interesting things. And I'll let you guys know how the Nelson rig um, works. Uh, looks like a pretty nice setup. Uh, it comes with a top and pants. I didn't need new pants, but uh, because the ones I got from Harley work great. But now I'll have a spare set of pants as well. Anyway, we're going to send this back, get the new ones in, and I'll give you a review of how they work um, once I'm caught in the rain, which hopefully will be a long, long time. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you, um, just some of the different things we found out on rain gear. The first gear, um, top, not very good. Mama Badger loves her Harley Davidson ones. Um, she's got the bright orange ones. They've worked great for her. So we highly recommend the Harley Davidson rain gear. All right, guys. So I think it's time after like two years to finally start finishing the poker chip chandelier. So all I got to do is put holes in every one of these and then hang them on the chandelier. I don't know how long that's going to take, but... Mama Badger's out working out, so we'll get started on it tonight. Let's see how this turns out. I'm not 100% sure what the best way to go about this is going to be, so we're going to put three of them in the vise and see if we can't drill holes in all three. And, uh, I mean, I guess I could always use the drill press, 
but that doesn't seem nearly as sketchy as this. So let's give this a try first. There's one. All right, guys, yes, safety first. Um, anyway, uh, after I get them drilled, um, there is a little bit of, did you know they have metal in them? Little update. These poker chips have metal in them. So when you drill them out, um, it'll push some of the metal out the backside of it. So I turn the little grinder here on and I grind that that little bit of metal off so that it's nice and smooth before I hang it up. So um, let's get to grinding some of those off. Look at Mama Badger in there. Oh, look at Honey, just pushing her way in. Check out Mama Badger's purple rug. Honey loves the purple rug. Mama's just a working away in there. Doesn't she look happy? She's working on Facebook ads. She hates Facebook ads. All right, guys, so you saw the first three. I only have like 179 of those holes to drill left. So I'm gonna get to work on that. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm kind of doing a little bit every night so I don't get burnt out on just drilling holes after drilling holes. But hopefully by this weekend, it'll be all done and I'll be ready to show you guys. But anyway, I'm going to get back to drilling holes, and we will see you tomorrow.